All right, now we're going to switch gears a little bit. Taking place in Las Vegas, Nevada, my hometown, of course, is Google Next. They're kicking off their event there. Started uh, on the 10th, running through the 12th. We have John Ferrier there on the ground. He is the founder and CEO of Silicon Angle. I spoke to him earlier this week. Let's take a look at what he had to say. It's been a great show here for Google. A challenger in the cloud game, obviously AWS, Microsoft, Azure, Google Cloud, really putting together the whole package together. Businesses are trying to figure out their next generation growth strategy, and it will be driven by generative AI. The markets are speaking very clearly. The suppliers like Google and their ecosystem are impacted because the markets that drive the technology are data centers, the cloud uh, products. They're all being infused with products from AI, generative AI. And finally, the market is a societal change opportunity as well. You're hearing that from all the leadership and that the, it's the boards are driving this and companies, governments are driving societal change this huge tailwind and real pressure for this opportunity for more growth. Now let's dive in a little bit deeper here. How is Google's products and technology evolving? And is it driving AI or is it playing catch up? Well, they're, they're playing catch up in the sense that they have their own AI and they're bringing it to the table. They're making claims that they're the only cloud provider that can offer first party language foundation models, third party and open source. But the big story is their product. Gemini is their large language model. That's, a, that's their first party. Google makes it. That's really, really done well. They had a bad launch, but now they're catching up there. It's smarter, it's faster. And then they got this Vertex AI models, which is the multimodal, you hear about large language models. It's smarter and it can deal with multiple images, text, videos, audio, and all that's being driven by data. And the data products that they have in BigQuery is really showing up to be very scalable and supporting new vector embeds and databases. So they, they really got their act together on the product side. That should be a big lift for them. Now you're there on the ground. What are customers and partners saying and does it have traction? Well, the customers are trying to figure out, do they use AI and do they build their own AI and which supplier do they want to go all in on or bet on? They all want optionality and that's going to be a big conversation. It's okay to use AI from suppliers, whether it's Google or their ecosystems, and then build your own internally with your own data that you have intellectual property around those workflows, those applications. There, you're going to see that being the new intellectual property. And also the board, board of directors are putting pressure on their management to saying, where's the growth? We need to see your AI strategy. So you're seeing a big lift in the consultative side of the business. They're building out. They're going to build the bridge to the future and then cross it. That's what customers are trying to do. And more silicon is coming into the market from Google, more performance with GPUs and CPUs, the token models with Gemini, million token context windows. It gets really nerdy, but the tech is there and Google's bringing it to the table. Now, you just mentioned a lot of key points and a lot of important information right there, but what would you say is the bottom line at Google Next? I think they're bringing their AI chops to the table. I mean, their, their, their language model and the multimodal reasoning is getting smarter and more intelligent at scale. 700,000 words can be ingested and reasoned in real time. One hour of video can be turned around with, with really smart new indexes. Big query is this a database product that's now got this new capability. So they're stacked up and they're bringing Google search into the, into the mix with that data set. So Google's bringing everything to the table to really kind of catch up and hopefully move fast. They, they want to move from a challenger to a leader. And that's the big story here. Well, that just about does it here for us on NYSC TV Live. Thank you all for tuning in. From all of us here at NYSC, I'm Trinity Chavez. Have a good morning. Iconic brands speak for themselves.